For 14 years, this was my office. And my job, busting polluters by any means necessary. Back in those days, Knoxville treatment plants were leaking so much raw sewage into the Tennessee that a trip to the river meant a shot of antibiotics. The Army was dumping bomb-making chemicals into the Holston River, and our school kids were drinking from water fountains full of lead. Why? Because as long as everyone looked the other way, they got away with it. And so I staffed up the Tennessee Clean Water Network, and we started suing cities, corporations, and even the Department of Defense to force them to clean up their own mess. And then, the levee broke. The largest coal ash spill in American history. I told the TVA, let me in or I'm going in on my own. It looked like the surface of the moon. Toxic ash as far as the eye could see. 36 people would die from exposure during the cleanup. Water is life. And here in East Tennessee, life is beautiful. But we've had leaders who turned their backs on more than just water pollution. They ignored the opioid crisis. They ignored the costs of health care. They ignored the gun violence and the loss of jobs until one day the levee breaks. But it doesn't have to be that way. And I'm running for Congress to clean up the mess there too. People bring their children to this river to play in today because we decided we couldn't ignore this problem anymore. It's time our leaders did the same. I'm Renee Hoyos, and I'm running for Congress.